after 62 professional fights, here he is, Jerry Quarry, making a comeback. And Jerry, why are you doing it? Well, for two reasons, Chris. One, I saw Norton and Bobbick in, on May 11th of this year. And I watched Norton destroy Bobbick in 58 seconds, and I thought, Jesus, making the kind of money he's making for 58 seconds, you know, I'd like to get a piece of it. And then secondly, I saw uh, Ali fight Alfredo Evangelista I and mean, go 15 rounds with him and proved to me that uh, those guys can fight 15 rounds without Ali, then maybe uh, I've got a shot at doing it again. And Jerry, here in the city of action, Las Vegas, uh, money. That had a lot to do with it, didn't it? has an awful lot to do with it. Uh, the kind of money they're making now is, well, let's put it this way, it's a lot of money. Uh, I fought about 18 men rated in the top 10 at the time that I fought them. And I never made the money they're making now, so I feel I've uh, earned the right to make the kind of bread that uh, the people are pushing out now. And uh, personal damage in the way of further cuts to the eyes or face doesn't bother you at all? No. Uh, in all sincerity, I, there's only a few fights that I have really gotten cut. I got cut with the first Ali fight. I got cut with Joe Frazier, and I got cut with Ken Norton. Those were major fights, so because of the major fights, people think I'm a bleeder. Uh, other than that, I haven't been cut that often. In other words, there's more money uh, uh, boxing as a heavyweight than being a television commentator, right? <laughs> well, it's, that's without a, a doubt true, but uh, my career, I hope, ends up to, to be a television commentator. I'm trying to put the two of them together, being a commentator and a boxer. And I'm going to do boxing for a couple more years, get a piece of the change and see if I can take one shot at the title. And if I do, if I do get that shot, I'm going to bring it home. We wish you bo uh, good luck in both fields. I thank you very much, Chris. And it's really nice talking with you. And now in the very same ring where he fought of March 1975, Jerry Quarry at 209 pounds. He'll answer the bell for the first time in that span of time after this. I want that sinus medicine. Headache tablet? No, it relieves headache and congestion, internal sinus pressure, and post-nasal drip, and it has added strength. You mean added strength sign-off? Exactly. Added strength sign-off tablets give you pure aspirin plus 50% more sinus drainer. Help sinus pain while you drain. And for the fastest known form of congestion relief, new sign-off spray. Once a day, once a night. S-I-N-E-O-F-F. Sign-off in the bright red box. Whose reputation for quality parts is over half a century old? Where can you find over 100,000 parts, many of them better than your car's original parts? And who also supplies those parts to over 50,000 professional mechanics? Now, who should you see for quality parts? NAPA, that's N-A-P-A. We help keep America moving. Hailing from Milan, Italy, waiting. Now fighting for the second time in the United States, this is 26-year-old Lorenzo Zeno. He, having fought Ken Norton in September, he was knocked out in the fifth round. He's in at 203 pounds. He's six pounds lighter than Jerry Quarry in green, Irish Jerry Quarry, fighting out of the red corner here with the blue gloves. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds, and for this bout, unlike the Norton Young bout, the five-point must system will be used, whereas the Norton Young bout coming up, a great bout, will be the 10-point must. The referee uh, in this bout, Joey Giambra, is in the ring right now, and we're uh, looking for another referee. Carlos Padilla was scheduled to do it, but Joey is in there doing it. And of course, he's very competent, having been a great fighter, as now the instructions are given to these two. Corey with 62 fights. He has a reach of 72 inches, whereas Zeno has a reach of 76. Much shorter than the reach of, say, champion Muhammad Ali, who is 80 inches. And it's a big difference, especially in the heavyweights, in getting to your opponent. Corey is just a little over six feet tall, while Zeno is six foot three. He has a fine left hand. I doubt if he can take the punishment that Corey normally can hand out. This is the round one of the scheduled 10 rounder. Sellout crowd, top price at ringside, $150. Money, of course, in the mind of Jerry Corey, as you heard him talk to us at poolside earlier this week here in Las Vegas. Good left hook by Quarry. 
And a very fine right by Zeno in the white trunks. First time they have met. Joy Giamber, the referee. Head hunting here in the first round. And if you just joined us, don't forget, following this bout, we will go to the Ken Norton, Jimmy Young, bout to determine the man that will next fight for the championship, Muhammad Ali. And of course, Corey believes there is a heavyweight title fight in his future. Searched for it for years. And now searching is in comeback against Zeno. There you're getting a, a look at that sharp, but a right cross over the left jab lead by Corey, caught Zeno right on the chin. Perry's mixing it up now, trying to uh, open up the defense. Occasionally a left to the body. Overhand right, Zeno loves to throw them. He landed one good one in the first round. hit, do not hold and hit. Joy Giambra, the referee. Cautioning, not warning, but cautioning. Say no. Corey, as you're watching in color, is a very uh, fair complexion heavyweight. So if he receives any punches on the face, his face reddens quickly. Neither fighter mark, no cuts, no knockdowns. This is round one. Locking those jabs beautifully. Corey in green on the right. and scoring twice. Zanon in white. Good left hook right to the jaw. Now again, a caution by Joey Giamber, the referee. Coming up to the five-second mark of the first round where they'll get that one-minute rest. Charlie, with Cole last night, you put in the Preston Leonard Freeze? Preston, Preston, who needs Preston? Preston, Preston, you need Preston. If your antifreeze is worn out or you don't have enough, you could be in trouble. So put in a fresh fill of Preston, too, to prevent corrosion and freeze ups. Preston, Preston, we need Preston. Preston, Preston, you need Preston. A massage and a hot shower. Together they work wonders on the aches and pains of life. And now there's a shower massage by Waterpick. A way to get a massage every time you shower. Thousands of tiny bursts of water adjust for a gentle, relaxing massage. A brisk, invigorating massage or a regular shower. Get America's favorite, the shower massage by Waterpick. Here's the second round of the 10-round heavyweight bout. Jerry Quarry in the green trunks on the far side. His opponent from Italy, six feet two inches tall. That is Lorenzo Zeno. Good left hand in the first round. Uh, we called it even. Five-point must system. Three judges doing the scoring. Art Lurie, Harold Buck, and Dave Moretti. Mixing up the body punches with a sharp blow or two to the head. Say no with a right hand lead. Remember, Corey hasn't fought in two and a half years. Thus far, he's never been fast, but he looks slower than he was before he retired. A plotter. Always the question mark, can he win the big one? And for him, this is just as big as his bouts with Ali, Patterson, Frazier, Norton. Good crisp punches by Zainone. Inside uppercut landed on the chin of Zainone by Corey. Second round. Another right hand lead by Zainone. A nice left hook. Corey better be careful. Another one getting through the defense.
And he hurt his arm throwing that left hook. Right up at the joint. Up by the shoulder. He winced. Jerry Corey in the dark trunks. Trying to hook his way to victory here in the second round against Zeno. Ken Norton, Jimmy Young waiting in the dressing room watching this bout. They have a scheduled 15 round bout coming up. Sugar Ray Leonard defeated Augustine Estrada. Another right hand lead landing. That was more of a slapping punch, not a heavy hit. But nonetheless, scoring points. Less than 30 seconds, round two. The four inch difference in reach showing here in the early rounds. They know, long arm. Bell in five seconds. For outstanding value in the luxury compact class, the new AMC Concord DL. Introducing the AMC Concord DL, a new luxury compact with no extra charge for its luxury. For no extra charge, you get a Landau roof with opera windows, color keyed wheel covers, and white walls and velour individual reclining seats. The new AMC Concorde DL, the luxury Americans want, the size America needs. It's your face, that chick, love it. It's your face, that chick, love it. It's your face, that chick, love it. Chick loves your face with Super 2, the only twin blade cartridge with a Teflon coating that makes closeness really comfortable. It fits track two handles, and it really loves your face. It's your face, that chick, love it. Chick Super 2, regular or adjustable. They may seem like long moments, but relaxing moments. A uh, little massage, Jimmy Young as he awaits his bout with Ken Norton. Now we're in round three of a scheduled ten rounder. And just before the bell, ending the second round, Zeno and the white truck staggered Corey. Round three, and there's that difference in reach and it's so important and uh, a great jabber in getting the left hooks in blocking some of those punches but others scoring Probably in the background, you hear the voice of uh, Corey's manager, Richie Ducati, giving instructions. Corey's face beat red. The corner wants Corey to allow Zainon to come to him. Straight left hand by Corey. But snapping away from the punch was Zeno. Less than a minute and a half in the third round. There have been no knockdowns if you just joined us. Neither fighter cut. Corey, the second oldest of four sons. His four sisters. You may remember his brother Mike Corey. Seen a few times here on ABC. Young Norton coming up. You're scoring the bar. I gave the first round uh, five points for each fighter, and the second round to Zeno, five four, the five point must. Sticking, stabbing Zeno of Italy. A 
does left jab just keep you off balance, impair your vision, don't allow you to get set, and that's what Corey's trying to do, and failing. And absorbing punishment again. Lots of blows, as he did in his career, which began in 1965. Fairly good right hand by Corey. When I'm assigned to shoot a guy like John Newcomb, I pack my Canon AE-1 with several lenses. Because I'm after more than just John's form. Creativity means capturing his intensity. You try it, John. Me? Sure. The AE-1 is so simple, you can really concentrate on your subject. About all you do is focus and click. The surprisingly affordable Canon AE-1. So advanced, it's simple. When do you... Any time that's right for a cold beer is perfect for the consistently smooth taste of this one. Beechwood Age Budweiser. When you say Budweiser, Budweiser, you said it all. Beechwood Age Budweiser. That was a bell for round three here at the Tennis Pavilion, the Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. Make it round four, I'm sorry. I scored the last round an even round. Zainon, 26 years old in the white trunks with that long reach. Corey fighting the same as he always has. Keeps that right hand much too low. Watch him. Now getting it up, trying to block the jabs, but then get hits with a, with a right hand lead. A mouse now forming on the left cheek of Corey. Joy Giambra, the referee. Zanone and White, former house painter, quit school at 16 so he could box. He's long and lanky. In fact, his father is six feet eight inches tall. I must say, he has a beautiful left jab. For a heavyweight, they know moves rather well. Other than Kem Norton, who knocked him out in the fifth round in September, the only opponent you might know would be Alfredo Evangelista. Howard Cosell and I uh, did the Ali Evangelista fight in Baltimore. We both nearly fell asleep. So that is the only opponent that you might know that Zanon has fought, other than Norton and now Corey. Zanon winning an eight-round decision. trying to be the aggressor, get on track, and land some punches. Corey at 209, six pound pull in the weights. Looks a little heavy around the middle. Ali, the champion, moving out along the far side. Coming over to join Howard Cosell here in a moment. Another great champion in the audience. In fact, my all-time favorite boxer, Sugar Ray Robinson, looking on. to the 10-second mark of the fourth round in a scheduled 10-round bout. Corey's comeback. All right, folks, as you can see, I'm here with the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad. The World Boxing Council has said you must sign to fight the winner within 60 days or face risk of loss of crown. Your position. That's something new and special written just for me, though. And it all says the same people know that you have to fight a top contender once a year. I only have to fight once a year. Now they're going to make it a crime if I don't sign. I just have to fight in shape as the top contender. So I actually have 11 months before I have to sign. 
and I'm going to just not sign just to see what they do. I'm going to say right here on Worldwide TV, I'm not going to obey their order. Okay. So I am boxing, I am the king. They don't tell me what to do. I just fought under shapers, and you don't tell me I don't have a right to rest? Hell, you know, I fight, fight, I fight four and five times a year. I don't have to fight eight, twice a year or have forced to sign a fight. That's just a thing because I'm the greatest and they just hate it because I'm still going. And okay. Still pretty. Quick prediction, Young or um, not? Well, I think Young will outdo him and uh, for the, just, it's his decision. Okay. Chris? The bell for the fifth round here at Caesars Palace. They known in white of Italy. 26 years old at 203, Corey of California, Cypress, California, and Bakersfield at 209. There have been no knockdowns. Corey with a mouse under his left eye and absorbing a lot of jabs, a few hooks thrown by the Italian heavyweight. As we mentioned earlier, both fighters were KO'd by Norton in the fifth round. In other words, the round they're boxing in now. And now Richie Giacchetti, the manager of Corey, is tying the shoelaces on the left shoe of Corey. And you saw Muhammad Ali and Muhammad Ali in 1970 and 72 KO'd Corey. Here he is coming back. Bridge of Corey's nose, reddened, starting to swell a little bit. Stabbing. There he tried to do a combination. A one, two, the right missing. Zenon and White. Up on those toes. Not a heavy puncher. Supposedly had seven knockouts in his career. Oh, those are beautiful jabs. And Corey is not a moving target, so he can be hit. Doesn't bob or weave with the head slip punches. He just wades in. He tries to counter. Now he's trying to bob and weave to avoid the left jabs. Fair body punch by Corey here in the fifth round. Joy Giambra breaking them up. Pace has been pretty strong. Don't forget, here on ABC, this Monday night, the Washington Redskins traveling nearby Baltimore. 9 o'clock Eastern time, NFL Monday night football. Of course, Howard Cosell, who's here at ringside with me, and will be doing the Norton Young fight coming up. We'll join Frank Gifford, Don Meredith, to cover that game. Right now, you're watching the fifth round, scheduled for 10. As I know, ability scoring, almost at will. Now, the dressing rooms adjacent to the tennis pavilion on the left, that is Ken Norton. He's had two fights this year, but has only had to box six rounds. Whereas Jimmy Young on the right, Puerto Rico, one of the great evenings, one of the big upsets that Howard or I ever worked when Jimmy Young upset hard-hitting George Foreman. We'll never forget it. The Jerry Quarry, Lorenzo Zeno heavyweight fight is being brought to you as an exclusive presentation of ABC Sports. Let's pause five seconds for station identification. And now the noblest of all the resonant Romans. Frank Sinatra with his lovely wife, Barbara. Believe me, another champion has just come in to the audience here. I mentioned Sugar Ray Robinson earlier and Muhammad Ali, but in my book, after uh, having heard him on Thursday night as he opened in the Circus Maximus room here, he never sounded better. What a champion. Now back to the ring, where Frank at one time tried his luck and skill at boxing as a youngster. But right now in the green trunks, with his back to us, Jerry Quarry at 209, a little fat, 
coming back after two and a half year layoff. Seems very frustrated now as a much taller Lorenzo Zanone is just sticking him with that left jab and occasionally hooking and then coming with a right hand following the hook. Now trying uh, with the left to the body. All right, fought them all. And it was Frazier who caught him with a body punch that ended the bout. mentioned earlier about the beating to the face Corey has taken over the years and he's getting tattooed again here tonight in his comeback. Likeable heavyweight, very popular with the fans, but having his problems against a much less experienced Italian heavyweight. having fun here in the sixth round. Just using that left hand. Not a knockout puncher. So a glancing right hand lead by Zanon on the far side. You're scoring the fight. Remember, it's a five point must. I have Zanon ahead in the bout as we're in the sixth round. Murray, as he holds his gloves up, he has them open. Of course, to be effective when you punch, they have to be closed. Especially his right hand. Oh, a very good right hand lead by Zeno to the side of the face of Corey. They'll get a one minute rest in 10 seconds. Dribbles to the top of the key, shoots, good. The pitch. A swing and a miss, strike three. Ever want to watch two things that are on at the same time? Well, now you can, because Sony's revolutionary Betamax deck, which hooks up to any TV set, can actually videotape something off one channel while you're watching another channel. With Sony's Betamax, you won't miss a thing. A triple play. You've just seen a triple play. No, I didn't. You don't see those very often. Introducing the new Remington XLR. The electric shaver that shaved as close as a blade. And to prove it, we're doing something spectacular. We're giving away a blade to compare it with. We guarantee the Remington XLR will shave you as close as a blade or your money back. Now that's really spectacular. The Remington XLR shaves as close as a blade or your money back. Jerry Quarry has a round face anyway, but it is really puffed up after six rounds as we go into the seventh now because he's been catching that left jab, an occasional left hook, and often a right-hand lead if you just joined us. I have Zanon, the Italian on the far side, in the lead in this scheduled 10-rounder. And don't forget, coming up, a scheduled 15-round bout to determine the opponent for Muhammad Ali, Ken Norton who knocked out both of these fighters, Corey, two and a half years ago, and in September, they known on the right in white. And Jimmy Young, his opponent. Corey's had a lot of frustrations in his life. Family problems, injuries, and he's having his frustrations right here in his comeback. Get to the body. And there was a great shot just beneath the heart on the left side of the Zenon. He's going to have to do a lot more of that. 
can't do it when a left jab is sticking you in the face. Now mouse under the right eye. That's a swollen area. Ooh. This isn't often you see a heavyweight other than Ali land left jabs with such ease. It's a great offensive weapon and defensive as well, keeping the other fighter off balance. Corey trying to get up on his toes, use a little speed. Trying for the body punches, Quarry. Two inches shorter. This precedes the Ken Norton, Jimmy Young fight. And almost daring and with abandon. As they know, moving away. Back turn. Zainone on the far side began his boxing career in Monza. Fought a lot in Milan. End of round seven in about five seconds. After we find one more mile an hour. Right now, or any time that's right for a cold beer is perfect for the smooth taste of the king of beers, Budweiser. One more sneeze and I'm leaving. I can't breathe. Congestion. You didn't take contact. What did you take? I'll find it. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't you know this only works four hours per dose? Four. Contact works up to 12. That's eight hours more relief in contact. And this has things for coughs and aches contact chose not to use. Do me a favor. I don't want to leave you. Give your cold to contact and let's get some sleep. All right, here we go into the eighth round of a scheduled twin, 10-rounder, between plodding, slow, Jerry Quarry, making a comeback after a two-and-a-half-year layoff. Puffy around the eyes, the nose, the bridge of the nose. Neither fighter has been knocked down. And being very slick tonight and using his speed to advantage as they know. Had two rounds even thus far, and the other rounds going to the Italian heavyweight. Three judges looking on, scoring the bout. And the left jab has just been superb. Now I notice that Corey grasping every opportunity to take a breather. Tiring here in the eighth round. the heavyweight title once against Jimmy Ellis. Another time against Joe Frazier. Now he's coming on. Joy Giambra refereeing and doing a very, very fine job. Watch Joy now. Going to break up the clinch. They did it on their own. knows he has to rally. This is the eighth round with two to go. Norton and Young in their dress rooms. There you get a shot. Just look at the puffiness. And you know with future blows hitting a puffed up area they can split the skin and this has been Jerry's trouble. Some of his troubles in the past. One of the great Los Angeles Dodger fans Jerry Corey. There's another one off to Howard Cosell's right to whom he'll be talking. I referred to him as the champion, Frank Sinatra. Both 
closing stages now of round eight. Be anxious to hear what Frank has to say about this exciting evening in Las Vegas, a sellout crowd. He's appearing again at Caesar's Palace. Corey trying, coming up to the 22nd mark of the eighth round. Sugar Ray Leonard won his fight against Estrada at 154 of the sixth round, a Schedule Eight rounder. So he remains undefeated in five professional bouts, the Olympic sensation. Corey was the National Golden Glove champion at one time. In the process. All right, as Chris has already indicated, we're with the man, a champion in his own right. Frank, quite candidly, it's kind of sad to see so nice a young man as Quarry getting this kind of beating. I agree, Howard. I think, uh, well, he knows his own life, and apparently he decided he either needed it badly or he decided to take it, just take another shot at it. But I hate to see it. I agree with you. And the other boy, of course, he's a kind of an awkward fighter, but he's interesting to watch. I don't think he takes advantage of his reach. And uh, nor any snap in the punch, but but he somehow or other he, he fights his way through it. But I'm sorry about about Jerry having to do this again. As you can see, we're looking at Kenny Norton, Frank, in his dressing room, warming up. Whom do you like in the Young Norton affair? I like Young. I think I like Young because I think he's a little faster, and I think he's a little bit smarter, and he's a better boxer. Obviously, I think. He's a good fighter. They're both good fighters, but I like this boy here. I think he's great. And I think in a few, few quick seconds, you've manifested your knowledge of boxing. Thank you, Frank. Here's right. Chris, round nine. Frank Sinatra, as we go into the ninth round. Lorenzo Zanon in the white trunks. Corey trying to bounce back in the eighth round. Trying here again. Zanon sensing it. And look at that. Corey. Sneak punch, and I can't believe it. Zanon down, taking the eight count. And now Corey, and he hits him with a glancing blow, and Zanon apparently tired from all the dancing and jabbing and punching in the earlier rounds, just can't take a punch. The punches were not that hard. Two knockdowns here in the ninth round. And now holding his Jambra, breaks them up. Does Corey have enough stamina to put him away? He's had enough bouts to know what to do. But two and a half years laying off, Answering the bell in the ring makes all the difference in the world. Look at Zeno, clinching wisely. Glassy-eyed right now, but back on his toes. There was a left-hand body shot by Corey, which may have been blocked from your view. About a minute and 10 seconds remaining in the ninth round. There have been two knockdowns. Surprisingly, by Jerry Quarry, who is tired. Quarry was staggered in the second round by a left hand thrown by Zanon, and they both now are breathing heavily. There's a sign of it on Quarry's part, missing by a mile. About 40 seconds to go in this ninth round. Zanon may get away after being knocked out of place. He walked right into a right hand lead. He fell. They got a bummer's here. Zanon listening to the count by referee Joy Giambra. No, it's all over. Jerry Corey has come back in the eighth and ninth rounds as he tries again toward the heavyweight title. He has a long way to go. Here is the initial flurry earlier in the round that got Zanon in trouble. A left, then a right, an uppercut put him down. A surprise finish to a bout that was all in favor of Zanon. Zanon against Norton was ahead on points, then stepped into a shot that knocked him out in the fifth round. Don King there, and here we go again. This is the end of the fight now, watch. 
Remember, he had been down twice. And then this, just a combination of very solid punches. A tired Zanone, equally tired Jerry Corey. He's got guts. He's always had that. And he wins it here. Gentlemen, official time coming up. Referee Joey Giambra stops the bout at 2 minutes 34 seconds of the ninth round. The winner by a TKO, Irish Jerry Quarry. Irish Jerry Quarry in his 63rd fight now. Getting his 51st win. Zainone congratulating him at 234 of the ninth round. The TKO's referee Joy Jamber stopped about. So Sugar Ray Leonard ended his fight early at 154, the sixth round. There is Quarry. Look at his face, battered up. It'll be interesting to see now his next opponent is Howard Cosell here is waiting at ringside for the Norton Young fight and Howard that's a lot of punishment in the face but a surprising win by Quarry. I'll tell you Chris got to be honest I stand on what I said and I'm sure Sinatra stands on what he says. I hope Jerry doesn't continue fighting no matter the way that ended in Quarry's favor it was a dismal exhibition at best and Zanone simply can't take any kind of punch. It's that simple. Now we've got the big one coming up. Quarry, or rather Jimmy Young against Kenny Norton. And two people have come to this microphone before this camera already. Muhammad Ali and Frank Sinatra each has picked Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young, who is a clever boxer, and Kenny Norton, who is the puncher. And we hope that it will be a very, very interesting fight. Might be because of their contrasting styles. Watch what I mean. Kenny Norton has fought Muhammad Ali three times. Jimmy Young has fought him once. This action, March 31, 1973, they still talk.